Yo, what's up? It's your boy Pac Jr. And what I got for you guys today is a quick video going over how to beat the Cover 3 Cloud Show 2, which is a very popular defense out of dollar. We'll talk about maybe some of the best pass plays for it. Obviously, depending on the formation you're in, it would be nice to be able to run the ball on this defense. But if you're like in West Coast Bunch, you know, the bunch doesn't necessarily have the best of plays. So we'll just talk a little bit through it here. Um, We'll do passing plays first, and if we got time, we'll do some running plays, or we might hold it off for another video. So, the audibles I like to have for this is mesh post, stick, verticals, corner strike. And the play that I'm gonna come out in, especially if I notice that my opponent is in cover three, cloud show two, it's very obvious, is they're gonna come out in cover three, cloud show two, let's come out in deep corner. What I want you guys to notice is this, this concept or I should say zone by Chung is very special. Look at how it covers the sideline here. It does not cover, look at the cover two normally, then look at this one. It covers a sideline really, really well. So for example, let me move him out the way, okay? For example, if I come out in corner strike, like such and I try to get this cover two bomb right here that safety is in prime position to make a play on that and that usually will always get open versus cover two for example let me come out in cover two drop let me go out and cover two drop okay there we go let's do this now look at this cover two you guys are gonna see that this corner strike route is gonna get absolutely wide open now compared to before <clears throat> I threw it a ta I threw it a tad bit too early also by the way I'm a little sick so I do apologize that's why my voice is like this. So you can see that this zone right here guards things really well. And it's really hard to bomb this. Let's go stick. I mean, obviously, if, you're, if your opponent is using this guy here, right, to try to stop halfback base or something like that. Uh, but anyway, he'll be able to go here. Boom. Oh, my God. You can see it's kind of hard to... It's pretty hard to try to, try to bomb this in particular. Here it is. There we go, much better. Again, that's if you your opponent is on that left and you know that they're on this left side here. It just depends on what kind of pre-snap read you're getting. That was the reason why this defense is very good, okay? Because this plays that sidelines really well. Now, what most people will do is they'll bring this safety down to try to prevent those bombs. Probably stand here to try to disrupt this middle uh, receiver's route. So you basically got this nice cover three concept. Now, let me tell you guys why I absolutely love deep corner. And I love to come out in this uh, right away and quick hike my opponent. My goal here, especially when someone comes out in dollar and they're moving safeties around. The moment I see the safety move, trying to move down, I am quick hiking this as fast as I can to try to get them caught up on this D line right here. Now what I'm going to do, and all I want to show you is one thing. I want to show you this route by a running back. So first of all, Let's step up in the pocket. Let's throw this running back by the route. Notice how we're only gonna get three, four yards on this. If I'm gonna get a check down on this defense, I wanna pick up eight yards, six, seven yards. So I'm gonna put him on left trigger and option route instead. So now look at his path. Here it is. And we can at least pick up an additional two yards. Notice the path is different. The path normally here is going right in between the left tackle and the left guard and the option route he goes around them you see he goes around them there it is well, we're going to be able to hit this here you know maybe make a juke move and pick up eight nine ten yards so most people when they come out in this defense they don't like to shade they don't like to do anything too crazy all they like to do is move this guy right here and then they come here and then man themselves up with this guy and then they're going to press the crap out of our middle receiver so what i like to do is just the very first play deep corner like not the first play but like one of my first early concepts put them on an option route boom quick hike it as fast as you can step up in the pocket and you have a cover three bomb to this right side. And it works really, really well when people actually move this safety down here. So let me just spy one of these guys real quick. Option route, quick hike it. Here it is. As soon as he co covers this side of the field, we'll get a cover three bomb. So I really like deep corner because they keep the cover three concept to the left side, which you will always know because they're gonna move the safety down right here. You're gonna be able to, let's go ahead and hit instant replay. If it, you're gonna look at the corner to the left, the corner to the left, press it so you know you got the bomb. That's the big cue. 
I'm if I want to go for the bomb in the quick hike, I'm looking at this left corner. I see a press. I know this is going to be a cover three bomb. Step up in the pocket, throw this, lead it to the outside, and you're going to get a cover three bomb every single time. Boom. Notice how, and this, this is kind of weird. Notice how here, right, this purple is going deep. And then he goes to play down and then this is going to get open underneath here so let's just go through this one more time and let's say that our opponent puts him in a deep half to prevent any bombs right now they're back to here so let's say they go back here they're preventing any deep bombs let's put him on his option route which will generally get open versus his defense he presses through no, look at that three wreck is kind of weird now that that play just broke down and there's not much you can do about it. Occasionally, you'll be able to hit this in route. If you don't, it's okay. I'm telling you guys, take your option route underneath. Take this little hitch by Camara. Bam, hit him there. There's no need to try to... Can you outrun him? There's no need to try to do anything too crazy. So for me, my first read is Camara looking on this left side of the field. Like I'm looking on this left side of the field to see, I see a press, Camara's open, I'm gonna hit him, right? There's no need to prolong this. And then if you see that press, you're, you are gonna be able to pass lead this and hit this touchdown there. What's also very nice is you have a very nice flood concept to the right side of the field, but you do have to understand that your opponent is probably going to guard that area, right? That's why I like to flood the left side of the field because I already know this guy here, right? This guy here is gonna press, press, press. Oh, he's gonna go with this guy here because he's open, right? So he has to guard him. If not, you're gonna be able to hit him every time. So your opponent is taking care of this right side of the field, then you take care of this left side of the field. Uh, you're really just flooding this left side with an option route and the deep corner and this in route. Super simple concept, guys, but I promise you that option route will get will get open. Now, your opponent may man him up, right? Because his hook to curl is not playing anything. So now they might man him up, like something like this. So now we're slowly going to start to get, you know, things more open downfield, which we'll talk about a few other concepts in a second, right? So let's kind of reset the play. So what's another play we can do? Well, we can always come out and stick and mix, you know, mix a couple plays in. So let's put a drag here, something like that. Now, here's what's kind of nice, okay, is if they man them up here, let's say that they man them up. They're like, okay, I don't want to get that option route anymore, right? I always like to put, if people are in dollar and running this cover three cloud show two, I like to put five routes on the field. So here it is, right? Boom. We're going to be able to hit this drag right away every time we have that little you know post coming across and we have a little flood concept to the right so that's my personal preference uh preference is if i run stick i'm gonna have camara go on an on a hitch route i mean a wheel route just because i know you know your user's probably gonna guard this route up above. Okay, so again, big concepts here. We're really trying to take care of this left side of the field. Last but not least, let's man him up to Camara. Let's put Camara on an option route here. So you guys can see what happens if we man him up. Here it is. Then we're gonna be able to hit him here. So notice this option route is very, very glitchy for the simple reason <laughs> that if you man him up, if you man him up, put him on an option, this option route will see that, hey, you're manned up, let's hit you here, and let's go and pick up, again, five, six yards, which is all we need. So that option route does a great job of playing both, and now if your opponent is like, okay, this is starting to irritate me, I'm gonna put him on a, you know, let's put him on a hard flat or something like that, right? Let's see if that plays this option route. Here we go, let's run the option route here quick hike it oh guess what now he's just gonna sit here and now you can just go a field and then you know prevent a hit so deep corner works really well but we can't rely on it too much right we can't rely on deep corner so let's go through our next setup which is verticals with verticals guys i'm gonna hit y r b left d pad to post we're gonna put him on a post like such okay we are going to put cook on a um flat route y a flat route and then we're gonna hit Ted again, Y, B, and I'm gonna put him on a curl, left stick down like that. Now, again, I'll probably leave Camara on his option route. I just like to have that option route available versus max coverages. And I'm gonna motion him out, and I want you to see what's going to happen here. So now, if guys are trying to stop the option routes, trying to flood this side, I want you guys to notice here. Okay, we gotta step up in the pocket. One thing I wanna tell you guys right now is whenever you hike the ball, keep your left 
hand up. It's gonna help develop the habit to step up in the pocket and not go backwards. Here I'm going backwards, which is giving these rushers a really good path. Now I'm trying to step up, which is bad. But anyways, if you look here, this look at this three wreck. He's kind of weird, but he stays here with him. Look at, he's wide open. User has to guard him. He's going to get wide open, right? For whatever reason, this purple is going to come down for this option route. And then you got him coming across here. So let's go verticals. So there's our play art like such. Let's motion him out. Keep your D-pad up. You can hit him right there. and pick up a big yard. And now we're attacking the user. Again, the goal is to attack the user. User has to come up and guard this, right? There's no, nothing, let's bring McCorney down. McCorney is not gonna play this, by the way, just so you guys know. Let's go ahead and go verticals one more time. Let's go um, option route, like such. Motion him out. Here it is. B's gonna get open. And that RB route's gonna get open. I just gotta step up in the pocket. I'm so bad about that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Just a little quick video, nothing too crazy, just simple concepts that you can run that work really well against different formations. With that being said, guys, I'm out. Take care. Capiche?